Okay, so we've received a DV9700, actually 9800 with a AMD chipset in it. And the user states that the CD drive is not recognized and the uh, clock loses five hours. So we've placed the drive in since they left it out. And it is a standard HP drive. So what we're going to do is turn this on. We know that it's supposedly supposed to get video and turn on. So we're going to uh, check everything, which it does. We're going to try to go into the BIOS and see what we see. So all we see is uh, the fact that the BIOS doesn't have any menus across it. We can't move up or down. We see that the diagnostics log says that it's doing its um, deal, but we usually see uh, headings here. So what we're going to do is uh, exit it. We see that the CD drive does have a random name there. And we're going to uh, let this start up into Windows, if it has it on here, and see what we find from that. So it appears the drive's been pulled. Let's turn this back off and turn it back on and see if we can't go in through a regular... BIOS function here, F10. Let's see if we can't get in there. That'll give us our options across the top. Since the first time was F1, we'll go across here. Now we notice that the time and date isn't set. And we're just trying to see if we can't find anything about a drive. Let's see if we go into boot order here. See what we find. So we just see uh, generic settings there for that. We have hard drive test and a memory test. But most importantly, we see that the time isn't set or capped. So since we've plugged it in and turned it on, we have the time actually being kept. So that may mean a bad BIOS battery. But we'll see what else we see here. So we're just going in and letting the BIOS start up and we see a bad drive there. And that may be attributed to either a bad BIOS or a uh, reflow issue. So first thing we're going to do is perform a reflow and see where we go from there. So for the time of date, we noticed that the battery is missing as soon as we took the uh, door off. So what we're going to do is replace the battery out with a new one, set the time and date, but that's after we have refloated the system. So we're going to allow this to uh, stay as it is for right now, but then we're going to uh, take everything apart and then go from there. Alright, so we have a DV9000 here. What we're going to do is turn it on. And uh, we've got the lights. So we're going to... Uh, see if this DVD drive in the side is recognized. So let's see what we get. Before we had scrambled um, there for it. You know, it was just a random name. So we have Slimline DVD now. So we know that it's actually doing what it's supposed to do. So we're going to turn this off and um, call it complete. We'll just uh, say that it's done. We know that the DVD in the side is working, and it is an actual DVD out of a HP, so we know that it's good, and we know everything's good as far as that's to go. So we'll call this complete.